Hey, what is up? It is Blake here in my warehouse talking about a uh, copy and paste affiliate marketing. As I create more diverse content about how to sell and make money online, I find myself going further and further away from, uh, from resale on eBay or Amazon FBA and more towards the other ways to make money online. I've seen videos on copy and paste affiliate marketing for years on YouTube. It is a different avenue uh, not inherently better or worse, but definitely different. So I'm going to go in this, I'm going to break it down for you, and we're going to learn a little bit about what this exactly is. But before we get into that, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment below if you want to learn more about this, more about affiliate marketing, more about ways, maybe not necessarily resale ways, to make money online. I do affiliate marketing. Just last month, I made a little over 500 bucks. Not a huge amount of money, but again, I'm not taking time to do this. It's more just, okay, I'll develop an affiliate relationship, and then uh, as my viewers watch videos, I'll make cash off of that. This kind of affiliate marketing is a lot more directed. Copy and paste affiliate marketing is more of a buzzword than anything else. You're gonna see headlines on videos, make 100 bucks a day, make 200 bucks a day, whatever it is, and they say all you have to do is copy and paste. That is not totally untrue, and I would say it's not even disingenuous, but it is not telling the whole story. Let's go into what exactly they're saying. To copy and paste affiliate market, you have to have an account with one of these ClickBank uh, type affiliate uh, repositories where they aggregate deals. ClickBank is one of them. You go there, you say, oh, if someone's given 95% commissions, so like if it costs 100 bucks, they're paying out $95 on this skinny green tea ebook that costs two grand, things like that. Uh, they're going to tell you how much you're getting paid out as well as the conversion rate that they're seeing on clicks. And so that's going to help you decide what is the best uh, affiliate market deal for you to promote. From a business perspective, what's happening is you are marketing someone else's product and they're paying you a commission as if you were making a sale. Why would someone do this? Because there is no risk involved. You can do it from anywhere in the entire world. And once you get going, the payouts can be every single day. Copy and paste affiliate marketing is the most basic form of any affiliate marketing. You don't have to have a blog for it. You don't have to have an understanding of what you're selling. You just have to have a uh, unending drive, a dauntless path towards uh, various comment sections because what you're doing is you are spamming the shit out of websites or you're paying someone else to do it. But this whole copy and paste idea, what they're not telling you is uh, you're trying to find these rubes who don't know that it's spam, they click on it, they buy it, you make money that way. I'm not saying it's wrong or unethical because no one's being harmed, I don't care, but that's what's happening. Are people making hundreds of dollars a day doing this? Yes, they totally are. I'm sure there are some making thousands of dollars a day. It's not, it's not a lie. It's totally a thing you can do, but it's to make a living at it. It takes a lot more than just copy and pasting. You have to probably have a, a whole army of virtual assistants, or you have to u utilize some black hat software like Scrapebox. That's what it was like five years ago. I have not done this stuff in quite some time, so I don't know exactly uh, what the most up-to-date black hat strategies are. Black hat is uh, <laughs> not the way you should do things. Uh, but it is still a way to make money. What you're really doing, essentially, why you're making money then, is the value you're providing is not really to the consumer. It's to the, the uh, manufacturer, the person who made this product or who is selling this product. The value you're adding is, uh, is this mundane work copy and pasting and also it's kind of rude too so it puts you in a position where you're fine taking the brunt of it you are uh disassociated from the actual manufacturer or the publisher or whatever it is so they don't look bad it's i, I mean it's not again i don't think it's bad but i don't think it's good either i have paid virtual assistance and that's somebody in you know North Korea, probably not North Korea, somebody in a different country uh, who you pay like five bucks an hour to do basic menial tasks. I've done this. I have spammed the hell out of a lot of websites, and I'm not saying it's bad. On the flip side, every time I post a new video, I'm going through and reporting spam on people who are doing click and paste or copy and paste affiliate marketing. Uh, there's two sides of the same coin. I'm not telling you what's right or wrong. I'm just explaining to you what this concept is. And maybe you think it's good for you. Maybe you don't have any time. Maybe you have a desk job where you are looking at a, a screen doing nothing for nine hours a day. And of course this makes sense for you. Again, not, uh, 
my opinion on this, just trying to explain what is going on and if you can make money on this trend. It isn't even a trend. On this YouTube trend. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, don't be a shithead. Thank you.